I saw the reformer Martin Luther in heaven, but all the popes are in hell, in this encounter the Lord is alerting and warning the member of the Catholic religion to leave this religion, the Lord said, this church is the seat of Satan's throne, for people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, we are living in the end of time these are dangerous days, this is a defining moment for humanity, the Lord is trying to save as many as he can, my Catholic background, I grew up in a Catholic family, back then when I was still a child my mother used to take the whole family to the mass every Sunday, very often, people were telling us that there was no truth in the Catholic Church, but we never took them seriously, I came to understand that it required God's grace in order to leave this religion for we were veiled and blinded by the devil, back then my mother was selling beers to raise her family, my mother often told us if we leave the Catholic Church we will not survive, indeed evangelical were opposed to alcoholic beers, which was our only source of revenue, we could not leave the Catholic Church, basically, there was strange thing that I saw in our local parish, we used to attend the Mass of the Dead where the priest did strange ritual with the corpse, one day in the Mass I saw the priest giving the pulpit to a charlatan, I was upset for the fetishist was allowed to stand in the pulpit and work together with the local priest, yet this man was a notorious witch in the neighborhood and everybody knew the man was in occultism, the whole church was scandalized on that day, our local priest who was a missionary often took food to the cemetery for the deads, telling us that the deads also are in need of food like the living, over time, my senior brother converted, and joined an evangelical church, and thanks to him the light of Jesus began to enter in the family that was in darkness, nevertheless my mother continued to take us to the parish, as soon as my brother was born again in the evangelical church, there were evangelists from his congregation that were coming to preach the good news to my mother, telling her to come out of the Catholic religion. In spite of this, my mother was unfazed, it was when she was struck by a strong sickness that she began to accept the words of the evangelist. Her sickness was so grave that all medical attempts were not working, it is when these evangelists pray for her that she was healed miraculously, when the Holy Spirit came in her heart she was transformed, and she decided to stop selling beers and it was an instant decision, for she felt that she could not continue. My mother joined the Pentecostal Church of God is Good, since mummy gave up selling beer, we were worried and wondering how we gonna survive, but the Lord Jesus Christ provided miraculously, we suffered mockery for leaving the Catholic religion but Jesus is wonderful, it is this way that we were saved from the Catholic religion, brother, I said the Lord Jesus Christ took me to heaven and hell more than 25 times, in order to remind his people about the realities of heaven and hell. Recently, the Lord gave me a message and warning to the members of the Catholic Church, I want to tell you brothers and sisters the final stage of everything in this life is either the eternal life in the paradise of God or the place of torment that is hell, yet the paradise of God and the place of torment are not the final stage and destination of humanity, for we are either going to the lake of fire and brimstone or the new Jerusalem, which is the dwelling of God and his people, the Lord took me to his throne where I saw the four living creature and the twenty-four elders, I saw Jesus seated on his throne in the midst of the four living creatures, I saw that these creatures had eyes all over their body, I saw that these beasts were six wings seraphim having the face of a lion, an eagle, a lamb and a man, the Lord told me, you can see that the four seraphim have six wings, when you multiply four by six, it is equal to twenty-four I mean twenty-four elders, the elders came after the four living being, they were enthroned in the new covenant. These are my twelve apostles and the twelve elders of Israel, in Isaiah 6 verse 1 there are only four seraphim before the throne, for the elders were not in their throne yet, the Bible say, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple, above him were seraphim, each with six wings with two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another, Holy, Holy, is the Lord Almighty, the whole earth is full of his glory, at the sound of their voices the doorposts and thresholds shook and the temple was filled with smoke, the Lord said, you can see that the living beast have eyes all over their body, in order to know the numbers of eyes in the body of the living creatures, 
you should multiply the number of the twenty-four elders by two, which is forty-eight, thus there are forty-eight eyes on the body of each living creature, now consider the number forty-eight, because four plus eight equal to twelve, which is the number of God, for one plus two equal to three, which is the Godhead, I mean the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, this means that the eyes in the body of the living creatures are the eyes of God controlling the whole universe, the Lord said the eye in the dollar bill is the eye of Satan, an imitation of the eye of the Lord monitoring the whole universe, it is his controlling power, an imitation of the ruling power of God, the revelation of the rise of the Antichrist in the Vatican, I was with the Lord as we were moving in the kingdom of heaven. The Lord revealed to me that he is angry against what is happening in the Catholic religion, the Lord said he is opposed to idolatry, the worship of statues, the worship of angels, the practice of talking to the dead, and the prayer to the saint, the Lord said. I am a jealous God, and I will not share my glory with anyone, brother, I am going to alert people about the practice of idolatry for many are going to hell the place of torment and those who will ignore the warning of the Lord by attending idolatry in the Catholic Church are going to hell, brother, let it be clear, unless you leave the Catholic religion you are not going to heaven, the Bible say no one, practicing idolatry will enter the kingdom of heaven, it is written in the scripture, come out my people, do not partake their iniquity, brother the time is short, I am going from one church to another with this message for we are living in the end of time. Many people don't realize that time is finished, they think we have many years before us, brother it is a mistake to think that you have more time to continue sinning, you will be surprised by death just when you thought you had many years before you, and then it will be too late, brother and sister, as the Lord was reprimanding the Catholic religion he said, servant, the Antichrist who will be at you, he will first appear in the Vatican and he will be introduced in the world by the Pope, for the papacy is of Satan. Woe to the one who put his trust in the Pope, the Lord said. The Catholic religion is not a church but a kingdom of Satan working to unveil the Antichrist to the world, this is the power of the great Babylon, this religion is not part of my body, servant, you will warn the world, for there is no Pope in heaven, all of them are in hell the place of torment suffering, and those who persist in the Catholic Church are going to hell brother this was a terrifying revelation to learn that none of these Roman Catholic popes were in heaven for they were all tormented in hell, the Lord said, I am giving time to the member of the Catholic Church to come out and repent, but many are unrepentant, there are doctrine of demons encouraging them to live the way they want, for when they died their families will pay for the fee of the mass of the dead so that their soul will rest in peace, the requiem mass is a doctrine of demon encouraging the mass to live in sin hoping that their soul will rest in peace when the requiem mass is done in their favor, purgatory is also a doctrine of demon opposed by the Lord for Catholic member are encouraged to live the way they want in sin, and when they die money will be paid to the priest to pray for their soul to be transferred to purgatory and heaven, in truth purgatory is a doctrine of demon, it is a teaching designed and conceived by demon in hell to lead the mass to hell. Many are going to hell hoping that the mass of the dead will help their soul to rest in peace, Jesus warning and anger about Pope Francis, the Lord said, I am angry against this Pope Francis, this is one of the worst Pope to rise in the Vatican, he is far more evil than his predecessors, for he is eager to carry out the agenda of Satan in a meticulous way, you must expose this religion tell the world to come out in their midst, for the further is angry against this Pope. The Lord told me that the devil is very happy about Pope Francis for he is keen to execute his formula and advanced his agenda more quickly. He is working for the Antichrist to take over the world by pushing gay marriage and sodomy. He is working to destroy the traditional marriage, yet the practice of sodomy caused the destruction of the city of Sodoma and Gomorrah, the Lord said, Servant. In this end time there is an Islamic Antichrist spirit and the Western Antichrist spirit, the Antichrist spirit of the East is operational in the Islamic religion that is opposed to the Gospel, the one who is worship in the name of Allah is a demon, leading millions to hell, the Western Antichrist spirit is operational within the Vatican, tell my people I am not in the gathering of churches and denomination, I am not in ecumenism and the gathering religion and denomination. Tell my people to separate and keep away of ecumenism, 
The Lord said, The Lord said the time is critical, my children should not be distracted, this is not the time for double heart and relaxation, my children must be on the alert and prudent, tell my children to press on they should not slacken, they should surrender completely, the reformer Martin Luther in heaven. I was with the Lord in the celestial world when he took me to the past and showed me when Martin Luther died, brother, there was a celebration and festivity in heaven on that day when the man of God died, which was attended by the saint of heaven and crowds of Protestant believer, that came to know the truth through the reformation that he initiated, when Martin Luther died he was greeted by saint of heaven in a festivity attended by Protestant believer killed by the Roman Catholic Church, the Lord said, my servant Luther has worked really hard in tough times, he is not only the founder of the Protestant Church, for Protestantism gave birth to the Baptist Church, the Methodist Church and Pentecostal. The revival you see in the world today came from Protestantism that was initiated in the Reformation that was started by my servant Luther, Jesus said, throughout the age in every period of humanity I raised servant on the scene to proclaim my word and when they are gone out of the scene I make sure that new servant rise on the scene, and throughout the ages I raised one servant after the other that were complementary. They operated in gradual revelation that were progressive, Martin Luther noticed practices in the Catholic Church that were opposite to the scripture such as the worship of statues and saint. The priest getting a lot of money paid to them for purgatory. They were people paying the clergy money for their sibling that have died in sin so that their soul will go to purgatory and paradise, yet the Bible say it is appointed unto men to die once then come judgment, the great tribulation and the man of sin, the Lord show me when the rapture happen, I saw that the majority of the believers were left behind in the sound of the trumpet, only a minority were rapture, the Lord said those who are left behind were hypocrite living a double life. I saw these people crying and in lamentation for they were left behind, it was a global disaster, it was a time of persecution for those were left behind, this is the event that will cause the rise of the man of sin, the Lord said the Antichrist will have money and power, he will restore peace in the world when the rapture happen, he would be accepted by the world elite and he will emerge in Italy in the Vatican, there will be persecution and tribulation, when the Antichrist rise he will increase desolation calamity and pain for those who oppose him it will become unbearable, in the great tribulation I saw that many pastors that were left behind were punished and beaten by the members of their church, I saw that Christian will be mocked for being left behind, this rapture happened in a twinkling of an eyes and left the word in disaster, the Lord is delaying this event because he want more people to come to him, the Lord said judgment is coming to Europe because they have turned their back on me for they are in comfort and modernity. I will punish their incredulity fewer people in Europe are coming to me because of wealth and self-sufficiency, therefore I will allow natural disaster and continental catastrophe like the tsunami to hit the land as punishment and they will come back to me, I was testifying in this very YouTube channel, many Catholic watch my testimony, one of them was a nun, she heard the message and the warning of God, she came to see me in secret for she was touched, she told me. I watch your testimony in YouTube, I like the message for I came to realize that I was in error, for I kneel before idols and statue and I pray to the Virgin Mary and the Saint, I wonder whether this will prevent me from entering the kingdom of heaven, I was sure I will make it to heaven until I watched your video and the warning from the Lord Jesus, now I have doubt and I came for clarification, I was talking to the nun in secret, she wonder and asked me in a serious tone. Are you saying to me all the people attending the Catholic religion are going to hell? I said to the nun, when anyone attending the Catholic Church convert and abandon idolatry he will be saved, for no idol worshipper will enter the kingdom of heaven, the Lord Jesus is angry because of the idolatry of the Virgin Mary and the cult of the saint that is leading numerous to the pit of fire, in the end the Catholic nun decided to repent and abandon the Catholic religion, the nun kept secret her new faith and began to attend our congregation, as she was still a newborn I taught her the word and I was praying for her soul, in the night the Lord spoke to me and told me, the new convert is still doing invocation of the Catholic saint, who are demon, she must confess and hand over her rosary, candle, powder and others items, 
The Lord revealed to me that demons were working to stop her from separating from the cult of the Virgin, the worship of the saint and other practice, quickly I called the nun and I talked to her, she confessed that she was still praying with her rosary and doing incantation around the river and other practice, when she confessed all these things the Lord told me that he accepted her confession, not long after announcing and abandoning Catholic practice the woman died. Quickly the Lord show me that the lady was in his presence in the eternal kingdom of heaven, the Lord said devils were stopping her from separating from idolatry and the worship of the virgin, for they knew that she would soon died, she was nearing her death, demon tried to manipulate her to hide rosary and items that she should have thrown away, knowing that the lady was in the end of the journey of her life demons were thirsty and battling to keep her connected to the items of the Catholic religion in order to reap her souls. They have failed to capture her soul and she is in my presence, and then the Lord showed me the lady in heaven I was full of rapture of joy to see her in heaven, I was with the Lord in heaven and he was telling me about mysteries, I knew a friend who was a member of a Catholic church, the Lord asked me to go preach to him the good news of the gospel, for his time on the earth was short, my friend home refused to hear the warning of the Lord. Yet the Lord showed me that demons were thirsty and battling for his soul while he was still alive, I want him to come out of idolatry but he refused yet his time was short, and days after my warning this brother died, the Lord went on to show me my friend home at in hell he was in torment crying in the fire, then the Lord took me to another lady who was a member of the Catholic Church, I evangelize her and she came to Christ, I remember when I met her for the first time, she told me, I often go to the river with Catholic priest, and these priests did magic prayer, as a result my late father was showing up, and I was able to talk to him, the lady said whenever the priest did magic prayer, late member of my family were appearing above the water and I was able to talk to them, yet these priests that were able to talk to the deads have never been able to get my mother to appear, one day we went to the river with the Catholic priest, we pray with perfume and powder, as a result the soul of my father appeared and we talk, my father told me, my daughter, whatever you have been seeking in life you got it you will be fine, and then he disappear, but when we invoked the spirit of my mother she failed to appear, I told this lady if your mother did not come out of water it's because of she was a born again, the image of your father that you saw in the river was just a demon who took his shape but in truth it's not him, these demon could not take the image of your mother because she was a daughter of God, these priests that are talking to the deads led you in a wrong way, on that day the lady converted and handed to me items that Catholic priest gave her, I burned these items that were candle, rosary, powder and perfume, and I got the lady to do repentance prayer, I exhorted the lady to stop talking to the deads, it's forbidden, on that day the lady came to Christ, few weeks later the woman died, when I saw her in heaven I was in great delight, I said, my sister, you made it to heaven, how come, how did you do it, she said, brother Isaac, thank you for the message and the advice you gave me, thanks to your exhortation I made it to the paradise of God, brother, I saw this woman that I led to Christ in a wonderful place in the paradise of God, there were shining houses made in precious stone and blooming flower shining, everything was shining breathtaking and beautiful. The lady told me, Brother Isaac, I am grateful for your evangelism and your follow-up that got me in the paradise of God, actually I have an appointment with the Lord Jesus Christ, I am supposed to go to see the Lord Jesus Christ further in the city, brother. I was happy to see that I have led a soul to Christ and she made it to heaven, it was joyful and memorable moment, I was talking to the lady as if we were on the earth, the Lord said, there is errors and idolatry in the Catholic Church, that is why I am not in their midst, today many Protestant servant are putting on garment and chains, items of cult similar to that of the Catholic Church, like the ornament of the Old Covenant, tell them that grade and levels are not of the flesh and in these ornament, they come from me not these garment, the Lord said, some member of the Protestant Church will be saved, you will tell them not to return to things that they left in the Catholic Church, they cannot return into the hole that Luther pulled them out from.